All right, Long Island Sound 2024. Uh, I am doing a little saltwater fishing out here. I'm out on vacation. Uh, I went out yesterday, caught some porgy. Uh, had a lot of fun, so back out. We're gonna try it again, see if we catch some of this on film. It's beautiful out here, it's pretty calm. I don't even know why I'm paddling. Makes no sense. Alright, I better. <laughs> so this is my uh, salt water setup. I'm gonna start out with, this is the uh, Mojo Mackie from Thunder Mist Lures. I'm gonna give it a try. So the uh, top water or the striper fishing was kind of a bust. I don't think I even got a bite. Um, the wind is picked up as you can see. Uh, I've got quite a bit of chop here, which is okay. The boat's handling it well. I'm doing about 2.7 miles an hour. I'm kind of trolling back to my beginning point so that I can drift back, drift a little bit back. I think I'm gonna switch over to do some porgy fishing. See if we can catch something to eat tonight. Try a little bit of it's perfectly calm this morning, fantastic. I'm gonna try a little uh, fishing. Hopefully, we'll catch something fun. So I came across a bunch of fish, I guess, or marks. So now I'm just trying to jig up maybe a porgy or black sea bass, that'd be great. Still nice dead calm out here, it's beautiful. Got something. Oh, don't lose it. It doesn't seem to be too it doesn't seem to be too big. I thought that was chasing it. Oh porgy. Ooh. Easy, 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 buddy. Oh, he's hooked. All three. Let's see if I can get you unhooked, buddy. Oh, relax, relax, relax. Relax, buddy. 
You only make an oh, oh you just released yourself. That's a decent sized fish. It's fighting. Hope I don't lose him. Come on. Oh, I can see him. Oh, there we go. Wow. Caught one finally. Oh, and he re oh, didn't release himself. Oh, he did release himself. It's a good sized fish. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Look at that. Fish. Let's measure them just to be sure. Oh yeah, we're into the 13 for sure. That oh, that was a good. That's a meal right there. All right, so the fish have been on ice for a couple hours because I've been doing some errands and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get them filleted and then we're gonna start cooking. Good sized fish. Pretty happy with that. I have no master fish fillet or so they're probably bushered up a little bit but they're not size of this guy another one beast the minimum size is 11 inches these were both in that 12 to 13 inch range, so I'm pretty happy with that. So, about as good as it gets, I think, for me. So there's a set of pin bones that go down the center here, so I'm going to make a cut here and cut those pin bones out. I'm just going to cut down to the skin so that when I take the skin off the fish, 
I'll be able to make that cut out. So here's the cut here. I don't know if you can see that. So now it's boneless. So uh, some people like to cut out the, the red, um, they say it makes it more fishy if you leave it on. Uh, it doesn't seem to bother me, so we're leaving it in. Alright, so after I'm done filleting the fish, I'm going to take them out. I have them uh, soaking in my ice water bath here, ice salt water bath. Uh, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to dry them off. Uh, and then I'm going to put them on a plate and then put them in the fridge until I'm ready to cook them. Then it's gonna go in the fridge. All right. Next, I'm going to chop up some parsley. So I'm going to squeeze the liquid out of the parsley. You can use dried parsley, but I prefer if I have the time to do it this way. We used to use a rag to do it, but that's what I got. And so I actually think this is too much. I probably only use about half of that. Maybe two tablespoons. Next, I'm gonna mince up some garlic. I have about three cloves here. So about two tablespoons of garlic as well. And then I have a one stick of soft softened butter. So now that it's mixed, I'm going to let it kind of sit and blend. I'm going to leave it out so it stays soft. So now that I have, uh, I laid all the stuff, I laid all the fish out. Um, I made a lot because we used, I used the same topping for uh, shrimp scampi. And so I'm just going to dollop the butter all over the fish and the shrimp. Uh, and then I'm going to put it in the broiler.
So, because the fish are big, I, I'm going to spread it out a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in a broiler for like five or 10 minutes. Yeah, the shrimp usually only take about five minutes. Uh, the fish are thin, so I think that they'll take about the same. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. So I've tried this butter on the shrimp and it's fantastic. Um, this is my first time trying it on a fish. Uh, we're gonna see how it, how it turns out. Mm. I think it's good. Um, the fish is not as flaky, and maybe I could cook it more, but I think it's, I'd rather it be cooked the way that it is. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But it's very good. Um, it's not a strong fish at all. Uh, supposedly, the porgies, because they eat on the snails and the clams and crabs and stuff, um, they're supposed to have that taste kind of like crab. Um, I don't know if I taste that myself, but it just tastes like a, a white fish. Um, it's very good. And uh, while we're here, I'm going to have a shrimp, which is not part of this video, but it's one of my favorites. Mm. Very good. Maybe even a little overcooked, but I'm okay with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.